Welcome to Harney's Creative Flow. So let's get serious, guys. What is Arnie's Creative Flow? What is Arnie's Kali Eskrima? I have no idea. All I know is it's a beautiful art that's been around a long time and you'll see it demonstrated in so many different ways. There are so many incredible practitioners out there. For me, when I'm teaching, and I haven't demonstrated this video yet, but for people that know me, they know there's an application to the technique and to the drills that I've created. So I haven't shown you that yet, but in the upcoming videos, I will. But right now I'm in COVID training crisis mode, which is trees and the air for now, but I will show you the application because there is an application and it does work. But there are practitioners that you'll see a lot of fancy twirling and they'll go crazy and they'll do all this stuff. See, I'm doing this all from my chair like wazagaza. They'll twirl all over the place and that's amazing. But when you're twirling, you should be thinking, what am I applying this to? Who am I fighting? What is the practical side of that flow? Now there are practitioners that just want to do the artistic side of Arnis or Kali Eskrima and the flow and the art is going to go and look very like, like a painter or a ballerina or you know a dancer where they're expressing themselves through the movement. And then you have the other people that just go bam, 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 bam. Very gonna grab a weapon and bash you and beat you and things like that. And that's great too. If it works, then it works. And if it works for you, then it works. I'm of the belief that if you're learning an art, whether it be karate, taekwondo, boxing, Thai boxing, BJJ, mixed martial arts, anything, you wanna know how to apply that art. When you see a boxer boxing, they're not boxing like this after they've done five years of boxing training or even after a year of boxing training. When they go and box in the ring, they have their guard up and they're doing all of their boxing techniques and the same applies to almost every martial art out there. When you watch FMA, unfortunately, sometimes you don't see that at all, especially when you watch the sparring, when they're wearing protective gear that knights would wear back in the day. And I'm sure even a knight, a knight back in the day would protect themselves to some degree with some level of skill. The skill is what's important. It's great to win a competition, if you were to actually fight for whatever reason in real life, would you apply the knowledge that you know in the years of experience or even a year of experience in training in that particular art to that fight? Or would you just go, I forgot everything I know and I'm just gonna fight like this, like two cats. When you're training your technique in FMA and what I teach, I would love you to be able to apply it, to at least understand how to apply it. The artistic side is beautiful, I love that side. But I also love the idea of being able to apply it. And learning how to apply it, you're gonna take a lot of bumps, a lot of bruises, guaranteed because I did. I had to figure out how do these blocks work? How do my strikes work? How do, when I'm flowing and doing these upper figure eights or these backhands and these lasticos and ridondas, which I'll try to say better moving forward, how do they apply? How can I make it work? Because there's speed and timing. There's extension of your arm. You have to get from point A all the way to point B in a very short period of time and make it effective. How do you do that? And that's through training, through trial and error. That's through knowing where not to get hit that's knowing where to hit somebody. So that's what I teach. And I will teach you those lessons in upcoming lessons. Be square, be there. Woo